What about Jorgensen? What's he going to do next year? Ooh. I hope not stop on the side of a French uh, oh. farm track a couple Yikes. of times and pull down his pants. <laughs> 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 Poor guy. Yeah. That's what happens when you're racing in the you know mud and, and, and in Paris or Bay and you have too many gels and your stomach's turning inside out. But what a well, well, season also, by uh, Matteo Jorgensen. I mean, you could talk about you know how far he's come in such a short amount of time, and now he's going to be linked up with Matteo. Uh, with Will Barta. Bart, Will Barta uh, at Movistar as well. She has another gringo there in the Movistar team. I mean, Matteo has one of my favorite breakout stories in the World Tour. You know, he, he didn't do the traditional development path in the U.S., racing for action, getting a stagiaire air game picked up. He just moved to Europe, made it happen on his own. And, it, yeah, I think that he is, you know, despite all his successes, still pretty underrated. He might be the most talented racer that uh, America has in the World Tour at the moment. I, I feel pretty confident say oh. saying that that might be fair. He's so solid. He had a journey of a year. He, he, he went out too strong. That, that, was, that, that was a rookie mistake. He was too good at Perry Nice. He was too good early the in the Giro, season, yeah. and the Giro killed him. The movie star put him through the Giro, and he was just getting more and more tired, and then they sent him to Unbound. <laughs> <laughs> and we saw the shell of a human that was I, I, Mateo. I couldn't put it better myself. Yeah. I, I talked to him and he was just so sad to be wearing spandex. So sad to be about to go on a bike for 200 miles. He, he had a restorative summer, took some time off, you know, it was on the up and up. So uh, that, you know, like Woods having a, a good learning experience is Mateo Jorgensen. He learned some lessons the hard way this year. He, he definitely learned how far he can push himself. And then he pushed himself further. We all, you know, we all have to learn that. So I think that Matteo Jorgensen, if he paces this season next year, I mean, sky's the limit. 